Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today we have another, this is the last in the series for me for the Odell, Odell should I say, Odell Brewing Company and this is their Cutthroat Porter. I've reviewed the Pale Ale, India Pale Ale, the Five Barrel Cutthroat Porter and now their uh, Odell Five Barrel Pale Ale should I say and now this Cutthroat Porter. I'm sure they make a few more beers in the range, but it's what I've got at the moment. So without further ado, let's crack it open. Love before I do, just quick, I love the style of the bottling. It's got that really oldy worldy look about it. Um, and there's some again this great, great feature on the bottleneck of the hops. Absolutely love that. Okay, let's crack it open, see what it smells like, tastes like. We'll read on the label what it's all about and we'll review it. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that smells rather a little licorice and hints of toffee and chocolate. And it's got a good biscuity, malty smell to it as well in the nose. Um, thanks to mybrewerytap.com for sending me the beer. Cheers. So let's see what it pours out like. Giving this one a good rigorous pour. Cool, look at that lovely head. It's great to have a good head on a porter like this. Absolutely fantastic. Was it two fingers? Good consistency to the beer. Get it right, nice, lovely, foamy, thick head. I'll drink some and then I'll be able to give it a bit more of a swirl then to really get an aroma. I'm not getting much past that head at the moment. So here we go then. Oh wow, that is fantastic, it's 4.8% in the volume, it's very very smooth, I've reviewed barley wines and these porters and stouts in the past and they've been, they've been very very strong where they're basically sippers, you just sip them gently over half an hour to an hour tasting them, um, getting all the different flavours. This, you've got all them same great flavours, but with it being 4.8%, you can session this most definitely. Also, the drinkability is fantastic because with it being 4.8%, you can just have a few of these and drink them. This could go down very, very quickly. This, this is dangerous quick. So what am I getting? It's slightly licorice. I'm getting toffee, good biscuit malt taste there. It's got a slight coffee taste to the beer. The bubbles are really small in this drink, which is a sign of a good beer. Let's give it a good wash round in front of the camera. Lovely lacing on the glass. Also another sign of a good beer. It's going to have a little bit more of this. It's going very quickly this one. It's very, very good. Mm. I'm going to read you now what's on the bottle. Cutthroat Porter is our tribute to the Colorado State Fish 
with its own unmistakable dark colouring. Although we're big fans of small batches, here's to the currently threatened cutthroat population reaching mass quantities. So there's a, there's a picture of a fish on a bottle. That's the little cutthroat fish, I imagine, and that's they're, they're paying a little tribute. So this beer is made as a tribute to um, an endangered fish. Okay, not quite a stout, but definitely no lightweight. Cutthroat ported is smooth and robust. Absolutely. <coughs> Inspired by the classic London porters, dark roasted malts create a deep, rich colour and flavour with a hint of chocolate and coffee. Most definitely. Really, really good tasting beer. We're a family-run brewery that loves beer. When experimenting with new brews, we strive to hit on something that's even better than the last beer we went crazy about. And then, and only then, will we serve it up to friends. Oddle Brewing Company. Fantastic. As I said, I love the old style of the bottles. They look like they've come from an age gone by. There's the bottle cap. I like to read the labels on the bottle because I drink the beer so fast. It's, if you find me reading the label and, and describing the bottle, it's because I'm trying to take a bit of time out because I'm drinking the beer so quickly. This is a good, good session porter stroke stout. This is in your Guinness style. But I'd actually say, I'm going to go out and say this is actually a better drink than Guinness. There's a lot more going for this. Okay, last but not least, it's time for a rating. For me, it's robust, it's rich, like it says on the bottle. Fantastic coffee, chocolate, slightly licorice taste there. You've got a fantastic Ma bready malty, um, biscuity malty taste. It's sitting very well in my stomach. I was able to cool it, so I cooled it down. Not too much, just but just a little bit. And for all them reasons, and the fact that I could session this, I could sit down in a bar and probably sink six or seven of these. I'm going to go. I'm going to give this an eight. 8 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide for Oddle Brewing Company's Cutthroat Porter. If you want to get in contact with Oddle, it's oddlebrewing.com. So, if you want to get in contact with me, you can Twitter me at Real Ale Today. Facebook is Real Ale Guide. Uh, Skype is Real Ale Guide. Um, email me, realaleguide at googlemail.com for all your questions and whatever but my, my main thing is is always the YouTube comments box. Watch the video and write a comment. I'll always I'll always strive to, to answer all the comments I get. I'll probably answer ninety nine percent of all the comments sent to me. I like to talk beer, I like to chat about beer. So let your comments run. Really enjoy your comments. If you want to subscribe it's up to you, add me as a friend. But thanks for watching the real L guide. Got the zapper in my hand and cheers.